Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to my channel today. So first of all guys, a little bit of an apology. You might have noticed that there's been a few less videos uploaded than I would normally do. Um, I don't know whether you remember me saying we were all due to go up north to visit family when the girls were on the half term, but we had an issue with the car. Long story short, we never got a car so we wasn't able to go. Brother was going up there so um, I went up with him so I could see my new grandson, my my other two children, my mum and my dad and I had a lovely time so yeah I didn't have any videos planned or anything because it was really short notice I only had a day to get sorted to get packed to go so whilst I was up there we went and did a little bit of shopping uh, we went to Home Bargains, we don't have one here where I live we do but it's about 45 minute drive in the car so I picked up a few bits from there so I'll show you what I got I got these beautiful paper flowers with like burlap they were really inexpensive. I think they were about 70 pence. I got them. I got two packets of these, but I don't know where the other one's gone. These are just little paper flowers. So I got them. I got two lots of washi tape. There's five metres on each roll. You get five, and this was 99 pence. So they're all like pinks and blacks and gold. And then this one is gold and grey, like marble couldn't believe it, couldn't believe the price of them so I got them, oh there's the other flowers yeah I knew I'd got two packets of them and then I just picked up some tissue paper I'm always looking for different tissue paper this one's uh, white with a little bit of silver in the background you know for wrapping happy mail up in and bits and pieces so they were the bits that I found in the home bargains so let's move them over there for a minute then we went to the range so the first thing I picked up was this storage box I needed some more for all my beads you know for my jewellery well for my tassel making I'm not a jewellery maker I wouldn't have a clue so I picked up one of them because I needed that I picked up two packets of these wooden frames I was looking on Amazon at these before I went away because I, I think they're nice to go on the front of like vintage journals you know painted up and um, inked over and gilding polish so I picked they were only a pound and you get three frames in there yeah three so I picked two packets of them up thought they were great value I picked up these little daisy print flowers they're just little white flowers but I thought I can spray them with my inks or I can use my oxide inks to ink over them that's why I got white I think I got two packets of them yeah I did I got two packets of them and they were all really inexpensive I spotted this a sponge roller and I thought just another texture on my gel plate that was £1.49 so I picked up one of them I picked up two packets of this craft linen sheet it's just fabric but I thought what lovely you know to make some clusters and that with that's got roses on and then this one's a bit paler with little pink flowers on so I got them I think they were something like a pound 90 pence they were really inexpensive I've got some little bits of stickers, um, which ones did I get? I got these deco circle stickers, I thought these were nice, four tags and on collages. These are like purple and gold, uh, sorry, blue and gold, and they're like purple and gold. They're just little stickers, so I picked them up. I picked up some of these little wooden handmade embellishments I thought I could put one of these at the end of my journals you know with some brads I thought they were nice I could even put gilding polish over them I picked up some more little bits of gems these are coloured domed stickers they're blue ones and then I got them little blue gems these are really nice these are five millimeter adhesive stones and they're like a mixture of colours black gold silver purple I got them and then I got these which are like browns, yellows and golds so I got them all these were a pound I think these stickers I spotted these assorted craft leaves I've got these that I buy from the works the red and the orange ones <coughs> excuse me guys but I didn't have any green so I picked a packet of them I think they were pound fifty. Then I spotted these little wooden vine leaves, 40 pieces, they were a pound. I thought I could paint ink or whatever over them, you know, on the front of journals if you're doing a botanical one or whatever. So I picked those up. 
and then the rest of the bits from the range were some paper pads that I found so I got this one which is A5 and it's called Rustic not sure how many pages you get in does it say oh 16 sheets two sheets of eight designs 200 GSM so we'll do a little flip through these were 199 these ones were so we've got that one there's a little bit of glitter in there I thought they'd be nice for ephemera making for the price so you've got two of them and then two of that like tiled one and then that's not that beautiful gorgeous that I love that it's quite Tim Holtzy looking that one and then we've got a darker grey and there's just I don't know if you can see just a little bit of glitter in the background and then that one's beautiful as well I love that one really grungy and then that one like the broken rocks tiles whatever and then that lovely blue one so for 199 I thought they were great and then that purple one so that one's called rustic then I spotted these which are vellum patterns there's 36 sheets a5 and they're 105 gsm and these are I picked up blue because my next journal that I'm going to be working on is blue well there's blue there's a little bit of craft at the back of each one so yeah they're just I don't know whether the camera will pick it up with it being oh yeah you can see can't you just vellum plain vellum and then we've got the floral blue one these were 199 if memory serves me right I think I've never seen these before isn't that beautiful the flowers so they're all just different shades of blue seahorse I just thought they'd be nice for making ephemera with so I've got that one that's the blue one and then I spotted this one which was all green I love this one at the front and you get three sheets in there that botanical one so we've got them and we've got that plain one and then we've got like the leaves yeah I've never seen these but mind you I haven't been to the range for a long time so it was nice having a little browse round and then that one I love that one as well three of each and then some plain green and that one's nice isn't it with the the squares yeah I thought these would be nice to make some envelopes little envelopes with or add into ephemera so that's that one so that's the green one they're just called vellum patterns by deco time and then I found two 12 by 12 paper pads not that I need anywhere but these were 2 99 each this one's called and they lived happily ever after 24 sheets 2 times 24 designs double sided 250 GSM so I'll give you a quick flip through roses. it's all pinky um, music. then we've got some cut I'll turn it over and do the other side as well got quite a few cut aparts in here I thought it was really pretty yeah. <coughs> for 2 99 I love this one love that one but I'll turn it over like I said and show you the other side and we've got some more cut aparts there on that page the 2 99 isn't that beautiful could go in a frame that one and then just plain and then that one pink's not normally a colour I go for to be honest but I just like some of these papers I thought they were very pretty isn't that beautiful love that one that would make a nice cover on a journal that one so on that one there with the letters that one's nice I like that one let's have a look at the other side see if it's different oh no it's the same it's the same it's just two sheets of each so that one's and they lived happily ever after and then the other one that I spotted is called follow the sun and it's the same you get the same amount same GSM and I've got a kit ready for summer um, to do a bee journal and I thought some of these papers would look really nice in the bee journal you know for ephemera so we've got that one with the sunflowers it's all blue and yellow really bit of black in that one isn't that beautiful I thought I could make some nice ephemera for a bee journal and then that one with the big sunflowers there I missed one you know, they're quite thick the 250 GSM just thought it was lovely for three pound isn't that pretty and then we've got that big one there 
yeah so I had a lovely time oh it was so lovely to see my family and my children and I, I snuggled my, ba my new baby grandson for a full day I spent the day there and oh my, my other two granddaughters it was just lovely to see everybody it really was I was just really upset that we all couldn't go but the children were back at school and they came to me and said mummy you go you go and see everybody so we're hoping to get up at Easter if we've got a car sorted by then all of us for you know for over the Easter bank holiday when the girls are off school but yeah it was so lovely so I am sorry about the videos being a bit hit and miss I just had to put up what I'd had uploaded ready that's beautiful but yeah it was definitely worth it I had a lovely time I really did so that one's called follow the sun and then let's just put that over there and then whilst I was there I got a little bit of money given to me so I ordered these I've been looking at these for ages this was just a little stamp off eBay uh, urban stamps it's quite steampunky just like a background stamp but you could stamp and fussy cut them all out so I got that off eBay and then these I've been looking at for ages these are new stamp sets by Sam Poole um, I love that I love designs I love Sam Poole um, this is called beautiful garden and it's gorgeous it's got like the ledger some french a rose little flowers there mon journal paris what does that say perfumer and then the ledger and the nice uh nice stamps to stamp with that is beautiful garden cec963 designed by sam Poole. so i got that one And then I also got this one. This is called Timeless Roses. Again, you've got the ledger, you've got the flowers, you've got the lovely uh, stopwatch there, you've got the um, flowers there. Yeah, really lovely stamp. So I'm really looking forward to doing something with them. And this is called Timeless Roses CEC 964. And then I got a couple of stencils by Sam Poole as well. This is called Forget Me Not Vines. Isn't that beautiful? I think they were $9.99 each, the stamp sets, and these were either $2.99 or $3.99. I got that one. And then I got this woven rose, which I thought was beautiful. So I got that one. And then these two dies I've been looking at, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get it while I've got some money. These were $10.99. You get the two tags, and then you get the whale tail dies. I don't have one of them whale tail punches. But I've got a little die cutting machine that I could run them through. They'll fit in my little die cutting machine. So that one's called Shabby Basics Whale Tail Tag 8 Dies by Sam Poole. And then the last thing that I got was this one here. This is called Shabby Basics Vintage Slide. And this is like to make uh, specimen cards. There's the dies. I've not opened it yet. I'll have a little play with it. Yeah, so I thought I've been looking at that for a while as well. I don't think it was $12.99. I think it was $10.99. I'm not sure anyway. And um, yeah, this is called Shabby Basics Vintage Slide. So they're my goodies, guys. Yeah, um, like I said, I had a lovely time. I had a lovely week away. It was just lovely to spend time with my family. And they're the goodies. I had a lovely time shopping in shops that we don't have where I live. So... As always guys, if there's anything you want to know, any details about these, these stamps I ordered offline, just leave me a little message and I'll always get back to you at some point. So until my next video guys, take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye!